science, definition of science, the use of evidence to construct testable explanations, right, and predictions of natural phenomena, as well as the knowledge generated through this process, man. We are natural people, and our problems are natural. So why the hell are you calling them a supernatural? Become superstitious. Ooh. <laughs> humna, 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 humna. Oh, so they got on our back. Y'all teach that white man science, teach about evolution. I said, but well, wait a minute. If you want to know about evolution, what do you do? Right here, it says, the book of knowing evolution. There's no Charles Darwin back then. Where's Charles Darwin at? He's not there. But if you want to know about evolution, you got to go to the book of knowing evolution, which is kept it up. And everybody know, yo, we always rock that symbol, kept it up. Transformation. We need to start to transform our character. The dumb beetle. And, for the record, why I'm a real black atheist, who is Kepita? The what? Kepita is what? Great. So y'all missed it when I said I was a real black atheist. That means I don't give three flying beeps about Islam, Judaism, and Christianity, and I do not walk around in fear. I follow the wisdom of my ancestors. That's why I'm a real black atheist. Atheos, anti-thatos, thatos is the Greek word used in the Bible. It's a governing system. So I'm anti the governing system that enslaved my ancestors. We have no moral obligation to those who have enslaved us. Wait a minute. We call this a primary, just in case y'all ain't know. I can't read that though. What's this? The papyrus, right? Berber, rhyme, play. I can't read it though. But guess what? It's called intelligence. Where you at? Where you at? Ujau. Ujau. Yeah. That's how we do that. It's called teamwork. And that's how the Africans are found in the morning. Hold up. Now, when Unc posted the uh, Scarab Beetle on Facebook and said that he's, the, you know, that represents the real black atheist, everybody went nuts. Everybody started talking about the Kepper means the brain, the Kepper means it doesn't have anything to do with evolution. Well, the Scarab Beetle, the word Kepper as a verb, it means to become. And it's different than the word winning or win, which means to exist. Just like in the English language, we have a to be verb which is our English words is, am, and are. That means to exist. But the word Kepper describes the process of coming into being. And I don't know if you have the slide of the, um, of the scare beetle, the other one. Is that pushing it down? No. How they say it in Hebrew, they say, read. <laughs> 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 they say they read that. Before I, before I go into this, um, I'm sure all of you all are familiar with uh, seeing the iconography on the temple walls in Kemet of you see a scarab beetle uh, pushing the sun, as they say. That's what early Egyptologists say, is pushing the sun through the sky. But if you study the scarab beetle, the species of scarab beetles, they don't push any the, the dung ball, they don't push it with the front legs. But on the iconography, it's in the front, it's at the head. But why is that? Because the word Kepler, as I said, it means as a verb to come into being. So the focus is not on pushing. Because it was, if, it was, if it was about pushing the sun, there would be no need for a solar boat, a night boat, and then the people that are pulling and, and tugging the boat when you see it elsewhere in the iconography. So the focus is on coming into being, bringing the dung ball into being, and rolling it to impress the female scarabs to lay their eggs and then, it's, then the baby scarabs come out. So that's the focus, coming into being. So here, the text that he showed is the um, Bremner-Rhine papyrus. 
and it's a cosmogon cosmogonical text dealing with cosmo cos cosmology. And in order to understand anybody's um, worldview, it's best to study their stories of creation, or what we call a, a cosmogony, which means the, the study of generations or how order comes into generation. So this book here is called The Book of Knowing the Transformations of Ra and of Overthrowing of Apep. And this is what this first opening line says here. Majatnet Rekeper Keperu Nu Ra Seker Apep. And the way I'm pronouncing these words is what we call Egyptology speak. Later on, we're going to get to historical accuracy on how to revoice the language because, as you, as you know, uh, Sesh Medu uh in the script, there's no vowels. So we're in the process of revoicing or revowing the language by way of comparative linguistic um, analysis. So my pronunciation now is from Egyptology speak, classroom Egyptology speak. So we have Majat, which is book, Netrek, which is of knowing, not the book of believing, but the book of knowing the transformations Keperu of Ra and overthrowing of Pep. This, this first line is the same. The next line. <laughs> Read, right? Jed Medu Nebercher Jed F M Ket Keper F. This is Jed Medu is saying of words. Or he, uh, saying of words. Nebuchadnezzar, the word neb means possessor, owner, master. Er is a preposition that means in regarding to or related to. And jur is a word that means limit. So together this, this phrase is an idiom that means the possessor or the totality of everything, all that exists. Wait, 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 oh, oh, oh. Wait, 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 wait. Spot test! Spot test. Well, well, I, spot everybody test. know I can read that. What's the, the bottom line? Bottom line. Spot test. Okay, well, first, one thing my brother forgot to tell y'all was, I mean, he just left it out. When we read this way, if we read the meta netter, we really start over here. So where I see Anuk, which means I am, is written right here. Pu, they go to Pu. That means that is. Keper, you see the square view, Keper. And then we see M, and then we see Keper, Keperi, right? I see it. Yep, Kepari. So basically, you see Kepari. And so they said, I am that that changed into myself, something like that. I am that which transformed into myself. How would you translate that? That's exactly right. I am this who came into being as the one who brings things into being. Kepari, the word Kepari is, like in English, is what we put on nouns as the IST. If you are if you have a guitar, if you're a person who plays a guitar, you are a guitarist. If you are a pian if you deal with pianos, you are a pianist. So Kepra or Kepri deals with the creator, that which brings things into existence. Hey, that's your everlasting life right there. You might need to know. That's why we keep smashing. They have no method. They have no methodology. They grab different things from the internet. They put their own ideas on it, and they don't get tested. That's what we do. We test out shit. That's what we got that from. The great elders. Dr. Ben, John Henry Clark, Chancellor Williams, John Jackson, Remy and E. You know what I'm saying? You got all your classes. The last line. You want to finish that last line real quick? This is real quick. What's saying here is, when I came into existence, existence itself came into existence. Oh, came into being. The last line here is Kepper Keperu Neb and Kep Keperi. All things came into existence after I came into existence. And in a nutshell, this text is, it goes on and on and on and starts talking about what the brother Ngozi talked about, Bashu and Tefnut and so on and so forth. But in, in all in all, this is the knowledge or the science of how things came into existence. And it goes on to say that this creator came into the world as the things in and as the world. There's no separation between the creator and its creation. So therefore, uh, creation and evolution is the exact same thing. God damn it.